I think I'm definitely getting other people to read it from now. This is like literally out of all things I do in my life, this is my biggest struggle. <laughs> I hate it. This is the dentist. I don't think Yeah, I hate the dentist. I fucking hate going to the dentist. I need to go. Can you set me up? Yes. Can we do the dentist doctor thing? Everything, can we every can we can morning. we like yes. really do it? Yes. Once and for all? Yes. Cause when I die with rotten teeth, it's I gonna be your fault. Uh, getting prepped for the keynote. Uh, gonna give a, a, a talk on the current state of opportunity in the real estate industry. Uh, that's how I wanna name the keynote, Babin. Um, and uh, I'm excited about it. Good vibes. Vegas, gonna record my audio book, finish that off for all of you, because I know you, all of you are getting the antsy, so. Gary is my wife, Kelly. Kelly, it's such a pleasure. Nice how are you? you? Good, thank Good. you. Awesome, right, let's do it. You must be D-Rock. No, this is Babin, but he gets Babin, that every day. Right. I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. But man. honestly, that's my favorite. You have to keep that in the episode, Babin, sorry. D-Rock was so well branded that it's actually Babin's two year anniversary oh, with, well, the, with the team. You'll graduate to D-Rock but, status. That's right, one day Babin, you could be like D-Rock. You might be B-Rock at some point, right? <laughs> He's about to kill you, so let's move on. <laughs> it's only so much that you can listen to somebody like me pound you and you know you're wrong every time. When I'm like, hey, stop blaming somebody out. Like when I literally create a framework that is 100% accountability, not because of anything else other than I think it works. Like it, it leads to, ha- I think 100% accountability leads to happiness. If you think somebody else is in control of you, you're losing. If you think the president, your parents' upbringing, your debt, if you think something's in control of you, you're unhappy. I don't think that. I think I can move to Sweden. I think I can get a divorce. I think I can change my career. I mean that, I mean that. Like, I don't know, like, you know. So anyway, a lot of people are navigating their lives through using excuses to cope. Yeah. And then I come along and I'm like, not true. And you're like, eh. I I need it to be true. I need it to be true, bro. You don't get it, Gary. My dad molested me. Right. Cool, comma, and? A lot of people have been molested, unfortunately. And like, a lot of them have gone on to achieve. Like, it's really kind of, it's difficult. It's difficult when I'm putting out content like, your problem's your mother. And like, you're not doing things because your mother didn't raise you well. And you're pandering to her. That's not consumable content. Then I curse, then I'm alpha. So there's a lot of reasons not to hang around. But the good part is, I don't want everybody. Right. I only want you people. Can't who, bother for everybody. I want people who want to win and like good things will happen. I get my high off of the emails I get every day of something happened. I mean, the guy on the escalator now is like, "You're the reason my wife gets out of bed. Started getting out of bed. You know what kind of impact that is? That's far more exciting to me than telling you exactly how to plan a Facebook ad on a white paper with a marker up there. Hemp fuels your fire. Hundred percent. Because that's fucking real shit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I like your pink hair. (laughs) I'm always listening. Good morning, Remax. How are you? So I'm impressed with this turnout because I was in Toronto yesterday and I flew in pretty late. And when I was walking from check-in to my room, I saw a lot of you getting very ridiculous. <laughs> I'm putting out a podcast every day and trying to bring value, not sell you into my funnel, not get you to sign up for my thing. And so I'm bringing value, thus I have his attention, which is remarkably valuable. Could be even the reason I'm back, could be. I don't know, good, it is. I made a shitload of money because of my podcast, right? I mean, you have to understand, you have to understand, right now, there is nobody dominating the top 200 in the real estate sector in podcast. Everybody here has the chance tomorrow to start a podcast that's evergreen. What happens in real estate, which is what happens in so many other industries, is we default into selling too much and not enough into branding. I love selling. 
Let me tell you the best way to sell in the world. Have the customer come to you without you doing anything. You didn't buy your Nikes. I would argue that everybody in this audience right now bought 85 to 90% of the clothes they're wearing right now because of brand, not because of sales. I need everybody to look at this. Babin, where are you? Get up here. Actually, you know what? Stand, don't, I know some of you are tired. Last night I saw you, please keep standing. I need to make a piece of content. Give me one second. Babin, get over here. Keep standing, please stand if you mainly watch Netflix. Instagram, guess what? All these people standing, which is like 70% of the audience, mainly only watch Netflix. Are people really watching commercials? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my God. How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank man. you, brother. I'm Chilling, screaming out there. I'm one of the younger guys over here in the Portland area. Love Just it, got man. started with Remax five months ago. Good I luck to you, brother. Closed uh, five homes so far. I got the drive. I already know the man who's literally <laughs> who, who's putting out that podcast every day, getting it going for me. Uh, I, I, I just want a picture with you. You got it, let's I, do it. I don't it. want to take up let's too much it. of your let's time. Uh, you know, I was just listening to a thing that you just posted about your anniversary for Wine Library yes. and stuff, and how you just went out, had your team pick up a camera, sat down, showed that little clip that you just made that first it? video. And I just started doing local videos like in my, and yes. it, just remi- it just made me laugh so hard because I was like, my first video is me just sitting looking <laughs> like a weirdo. Yep. And it's, it's the most worst video I've ever made. And you know, it's just one seven started, time, Cole. So, man, it's awesome. Right. You getting stuck, I see feet in the mud. You have been caught in the flood. <laughs> While the water isn't part of we run, we put you so the harvest is us. <laughs> you have been enjoying life, sipping the syrup and a line in the way. <laughs> Taking whatever you touch, the sword of the wicked is covered in blood. <laughs> Ain't nobody does it better. Hello, men. Do you know what page we're on? Yesterday, um, Lance told me start at 116, but. Did you just see what you did? Yeah. You literally just drilled that, bro. That was so weird. I'll show you. Frank, can you talk to him while I'm in here? There's something you should know. Right this minute, I have around 500 DMs from people who want something from me. You know what I have to say to them? Mazel tov, and go away. And that's if I'm in a good mood, or I'm trying to be nice. Why would I encourage you to try to get other influencers' attention when I ignore or reject the majority of people who try this tactic with me? because if they were doing it right, I wouldn't reject them. If I felt they weren't just trying to use me, if I thought they were just genuinely trying to be helpful, if they could recognize a hole in my business and the knowledge, if they could recognize a hole in my business and had the knowledge and skills to fill it, I might consider talking to them. When you can't offer exposure or money, what do you have? Knowledge and skill. Do you own a pizza shop? Could you offer free pizza from your shop for six months? Are you a graphic designer? Could you offer to make 600 custom filters? Do you own a liquor store? As soon as your targets post shots of themselves enjoying wine, you could direct message them with an offer for a free case of wine for the month or for the rest of the year. P.S. New Jersey laws don't allow this, but other states do. Otherwise, I'd be doing this with my family business. People will tell you not to sell yourself cheap, but you can stand on that principle only when you have people willing to buy what you're selling. For a perfect example of how to do this right, read DRock's story in chapter three of my book, Ask Gary V, or you can hear his version of the story in my Medium piece, How I Got My Job, from Gary Vaynerchuk. You getting stuck as he feet in the mud. You have been caught in the flood. <laughs> While the water isn't part of we run, we put you so the harvest is us. <laughs> you have been enjoying life, sipping the syrup and a line in the way. <laughs> Taking whatever you touch, the sword of the wicked is covered in blood. <laughs> Welcome to the city of the nonsense. Pleasure is the peace we can find in. Dive in, ride a shotgun, a 